Do you know what it's called when an Apollo docks with the Soyuz for the first time in space? The Apollo Soyuz Test Project. Hey, I'm John Williams, and I'm at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., and right above me is the Apollo Soyuz Test Project. So, the Apollo Soyuz Test Project was the first crewed international space mission in history, and it was performed in 1975 during the middle of the Cold War, and it was a form of detente between the two superpowers, the Soviet Union and the United States, as a warming of tensions between the two nations. So it's really cool. So right above me, you're seeing the Apollo capsule. So the one you're seeing right here was a test article built by NASA. And the real capsule was actually a leftover version of the Apollo capsule meant for the moon, but was flight ready and was used for this thing. Like Apollo 21, they would have used the real one for that. So it's so cool. And the crew members on it were Deke Slayton, Vance Brandon, and Thomas Stafford. So let me take you over here and show you the Soviet section of this. So this was an international docking in space and the Soviets and Americans used a docking port in the middle to connect the two spacecraft so they could see each other. So this is the Soyuz 7K TM and the one you're seeing right here is actually a mock-up and model, not real spaceflight hardware, built by Energia, a company that actually builds real space technology, which is so cool. And right there you can see that circular part is the airlock. And then in the middle you have this gumdrop shape, which is the actual capsule the, the cosmonauts would go in back into Earth in. And then at the back you have the um, service module, which had all the engines, all the little thrusters and engines and all the life support. So it's so cool. And then in the middle, you have the APAS 75, which was the docking port that was carried up by the Apollo capsule to connect the two spacecraft. And you can see how complex it is by looking at the, Soviet, the Soviets Soyuz capsule connection. It's so, so cool. And this actual module, instead of being just a mock-up, was actually real space flight hardware that was a backup for the real one. So this thing could have been the one that was used in real space, but it wasn't. So it's right here and it's amazing. So when the Apollo capsule went up, it actually had this on the front of it, which is amazing. And the pressure in the two spacecraft was actually different. And the Apollo capsule, they used nitrogen and oxygen. And then in the Soviet spacecraft, they used just oxygen, pure oxygen. And then this docking port in the middle allowed them to equalize the two pressures so they could enter each other's spacecraft and shake hands, which really let down the tensions during the Cold War. So it's so amazing. And this actual docking port was actually helped engineer the ones that you see on the modern space station, the International Space Station. It was the beginning of those docking ports, and it's just amazing. So let me take you to the other side and let me explain the mission for you. So this mission launched on July 15th, 1975, with both of these spacecraft launching on their own rockets within seven hours of each other. And then on July 17th, they docked. And then it took about a few more hours before they could equalize the pressure and actually enter each other's capsules. And there's a famous video of the two spacecraft commanders shaking hands, which really is a symbol of the easing up of tensions between the Soviet Union and the United States. So it's amazing. And if you come over here, let's take a closer look at the Soviet Soyuz. So the mission was actually dubbed Soyuz 19, as it was the 19th Soyuz spacecraft to launch. And in the middle, you can see this gumdrop space capsule right here. And that is the capsule where the crew went through re-entry. This orb right here, which was the docking module for them, and this bottom section would have actually separated. And then as this cap capsule went through re-entry, it would land on the ground, and then it would look like this from all the heat and burnt. This is a real Soyuz capsule. Not the one from the mission, but this is what it would exactly look like. It's pretty amazing. And it's been continued to carry on even today they just use an upgrade the russians just use an upgraded version of this spacecraft because it's worked so well and we even have been riding on it when it was the only manned spacecraft for eight years before we could get spacex and the dragon capsule operational 
so it's amazing. One more thing before I go. This Apollo capsule, the one that flew in space, was actually the last flight-ready Apollo capsule to ever fly for the United States. And after it landed in the ocean, the United States never sent any more manned missions before the space shuttle started. And this mission was the last cooperation between the United States and the Soviet Union until the space shuttle Atlantis docked with the space station of the Soviets, Mir. So it's still amazing. And thank you so much for watching. And maybe hit the subscribe button and check out my other content if you like this video. Have a great day. Our mission is to make you space intelligent.